Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. If you have been using Eagle today, you're going to learn how to import your Eagle design file and reference library into Fusion 360. For this example, the Eagle design and library are located on our local drive. From the Eagle control panel, I'm going to load the schematic. From the schematic, I'll click on go to board option to load the board. Since there's no errors, I'm confident that I have full annotation between board and schematic. Now, from the schematic, I'm going to right click one of the components and from the context menu, I'm going to select the option edit device. Notice that the corresponding library opened up to the exact device that I selected in the schematic. With everything working in Eagle as expected, let's go over to Fusion 360 and set up this exact same environment. Now, let's go ahead and launch Fusion 360. I'll begin this process by creating a project folder for this example. From the file pull down menu, I'll create a brand new electronic design. From the electronic document, I'll press the reference schematic icon, then use the select from computer option. Now, let's go ahead and navigate our local drive and find the schematic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and follow the exact same steps, but this time from the electronic document, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the board. As an Eagle user, you'll remember that by having a schematic and a board in the same directory was enough to have annotation between the board and the schematic. With Fusion 360, we'll be using the electronic document to monitor annotation and it expands its properties to the 3D PCB as well. Let's make sure that we have annotation between the board and the schematic. To do this, from the schematic, we'll select the Validate tab and let's run ERC. Now click on the error icon. Notice that consistency has been maintained. From the schematic, I'll left click one of the components and try to select Edit Device. At this time, the component has lost its library reference, therefore, I'll get an error message. Now that we have the schematic and board selected and loaded, let's click on the file pull down menu again and select the open option. Navigate your hard drive and find the library you wish to load. Once loaded, now press on save. Now that we have the schematic loaded, now it's time to make reference from our schematic to this library. To accomplish this, a tab and select the option Update Library. It will only take a few moments to update. Return to the schematic and right click on one of the components and select the option Edit Device. You'll notice that the library now will open up with that device loaded, meaning that we have successfully loaded the schematic, board, and the reference library for them. Thank you for joining me all this and more with Fusion 360.